Uh, thank you, Mr. President, and thank you, Senator Harcum, for bringing this resolution and for your, your comments today. So I stand today to support the resolution, to thank all the Vietnam veterans. But, you know, during the Vietnam conflict, there was, there was a draft, and that brought people from all different economic sectors into uh, the conflict and into the war. And the Vietnam conflict really touched every American, regardless of, of your, your, your class or your educational status. And I got, you know, three quick stories about how Vietnam uh, affected, you know, my community. Uh, my uncle, Billy McQuillan, he's, uh, he was a, a Marine. He served uh, in Vietnam and came home safely. Uh, we're all very happy of that. Uh, but in my high school, just next to the case with all the trophies, was also a, a picture of another Lackawanna High School graduate named Joseph Urbanzik. Graduated from my high school, went over to Vietnam in the late 60s, and he was one of the 58,000 who didn't come back. He's buried in Holy Cross Cemetery, and his relatives still miss him uh, dearly. I have another family friend who has a totally different story of Vietnam. Her name is Mary Lee Slikowski, and Mary Lee was a nurse, um, and she was a combat nurse, and uh, you know, spent a lot of time patching people up. And she came home and continued to be a nurse, but as she you know, got into her later adulthood, she started recognizing that other nurses that she served with in Vietnam were suffering. So she ended up working extensively with nurses you know, who were home 20 years by then um, and, and helped them. Uh, but she also fought to make sure that nurses were recognized and women who served in the theater were recognized. 265,000 women served in Vietnam. Uh, none, none were drafted. All were volunteers, everything from nurses to supply chain people to air traffic controllers. Um, but after Mary Lee stopped doing advocacy around helping uh, nurses in need, she turned her advocacy toward making sure that women were recognized for their service in, in Vietnam. And, you know, very happy to report that there is a, a woman's monument now uh, in Washington, uh, D.C. But it's because of the advocacy of people like Mary Lee and many other women who served that there's also a recognition uh, of them through the Vietnam Women's uh, Memorial. So I stand today to support the resolution, uh, to thank everybody, man and woman, who served uh, in Vietnam uh, in service to their country. Thank you, Mr. President.